with the CNA program, they'll get state licensure, so they will be certified nursing assistants. When they finish, they'll be employable. Um, they'll also get college credit from IVC within the program itself. They get hands-on training, um, real patient care, so it's their first step in their medical career. The pathways available are health science and medical terminology. So it's patient care, which is the nursing assistant program, and public and community health, which is the capstone. And the intro is medical terminology. Well, with medical terminology, they have the opportunity to obtain college credit, whether or not they continue in the medical field or not. They may go a different route as opposed to nursing, maybe speech therapy or physical therapy or so you know social worker and they can use it in that direction they'll also obtain CPR so they'll be CPR certified and then the CNA students will get state certification as well as CPR training well, because they they are exposed to the medical field on different levels with medical terminology they'll understand both charting, reading charts, understanding the lingo that professionals speak. Um, so that puts them ahead. And then public and community health, they learn life skills and they learn to be autonomous as well as work in groups and others and CNA, the same, the same thing. They use their autonomy out to work as an individual CNA and then they have to be able to work within the clinical group themselves so they learn how to work together. If you're interested in a career in the medical field, see your counselor so they can set you up to follow the health pathway and then come and see me. This video is made possible by funding from the Strong Workforce Program and the Imperial County Office of Education, where we empower our community to be an ideal place to live, learn, and work.